Hello, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program, where last episode we had the, the best moment since Kerbal Space Program, this series on this channel, began, which was getting a, a Kerbal into orbit, who was ironically called Kerbin Kerman. Here he is, on his, on his slightly wonky orbit around Kerbin, but it's an orbit, and he stayed in it, which is good. It's good. So, what we're going to try and do now is retain, return him back to Kerbin successfully. Not sure how, how well this is going to go, but <laughs> it's worth a shot. As you can see, we're approaching Apple Apps here, so I'm going to set a maneuver in our Peri Apps because that's the closest point to the planet. So, I'm going to go for the reverse maneuver node here, and I'm going to shrink our orbit like so. Oh, shite, what's happened there? <laughs> okay, shrinking. Shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down. Like so. This is probably going to go very badly, but... Shrink it down to about there. I would ideally like it to be, um... <clears throat> on land, but if we have to touch down and see, then... You know, never mind. It's okay. Right. This is our current peri -ups. this will be our Apple apps. Right, it's 38 minutes away. I'm not going to let you watch all that, I'm not going to talk, so I'm going to time accelerate. Let's watch HMS Is This Really Worth It Mark II, pass our Apple apps. Let's watch it go behind the planet Kerbin, onto the light side. Is this the light side or is this the dark side? And then I'm going to stop time accelerating here. We are two minutes away. So we're going to start preparing for our burn. So we're going to find a little blue vector on our on our nav ball here, and hopefully not send it into a spin like I did last time. I'm just going to really gently find it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pressing the wrong button. Just be very, very careful. Move up a little bit. It's actually down. But... I've got two minutes to find this thing here. It's a little blue. There he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is. See him on the top there? It's our target. Oh, I forgot the controls are actually inverted for this. It's so hard to control when you're in space. Come on, come on, come on, come on, don't do this to me. Don't be gay. Oh. I knew this wasn't going to work. I'm afraid, Kevin Kerman, you may be in orbit forever. It's not that you have not you have enough fuel to get back. You have plenty of fuel. More than enough to get back, most likely. 1 minute 34. I'm saying, see, T minus probably going to come across it again, so it's okay. Come on, where are you? There you are. Slow you down. Let's go up here. This is a bit of a faff, I'm not going to lie. Come on! No, come on! Close enough. Oh, don't keep spinning. Stop spinning! No! Engage SAS. Stop spinning! Why are you still spinning? I don't want you spinning. At least Kerbin, at least Kerbin is, is happy. I'm probably not going to make this burn, but never mind. I might have to go off my my own senses here. And just throttle up as soon as we start pointing at the planet. This is where RCS... Oh, wait, I do have RCS. Oh, goody! This is so much easier now! Why did I not do this earlier? This is so much easier! Uh, we are kind of spinning a little bit, but... Let's counter try and counteract that with Q and E. Oh, we're not going to make the time frame, I don't think, which is... Unfortunate. This is, by far and away, the hardest part. I think RCS is just making this thing worse. Right, 
Right, that seems to have addressed the balance somewhat. We are still moving quite fast. Can I, can, can, right. Come on, come on. That's right, that's right. No, too fast, too fast, too fast. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we've missed our we've missed our shot, but it's not too bad. Luckily. I'm just gonna throttle up here. silent again guys like I say this game is quite complicated I don't know what's just happening I don't know what is happening but my camera just did a 360 I'm going to disengage RCS this is the main thing let's see what I'm doing on the map here the good thing is I've shrunk my orbit we're now out of orbit around Kerbin which is good fortunately we're out of fuel but luckily Got another fuel tank here. There we go. Here goes our little lander. I just remembered I put the parachutes on the higher side, so we're going to crash, which is not good. Poor little Kerbin Kerman is probably going to die, which isn't particularly nice to think about, but oh well, <laughs> it's a little have returned him. To his to his planet, which is good. At the moment, we are just making our apple apps, so I'm literally just going to cut the throttle here. I'm going to time accelerate. Oh wait, we're already we're close. We're entering the atmosphere. Any second now, we are going quite fast. Here we go. We're entering the atmosphere. I hope we don't burn up. Otherwise, that would be very embarrassing. But luckily, we'll have an atmosphere. Uh, come on. Whoa! Okay, yep, yeah, we definitely got a gravitational pull. But luckily, right, that's good. We're currently, that's a good, a good angle to be re-entering in. Okay, now we need to really like slow down. So I need to like kind of do this. Okay. We're going to crash. Poor Kerbin Kim, and I'm sorry. I'm just going to slow us down as much as possible. Get our meters per second down. Max throttle here. It's worth to literally just fall to the surface of the Earth. I can't time to it. This isn't good. We are now 2,000 feet above the planet and tumbling out of control. I'm going to try and land us on a rocket. Let's roll up here. Oh, we're out of fuel. Shit. Well. <laughs> That was a great end to an episode, an explosion, but we managed to return the the spaceship to Earth. Kerbin, sort of. <laughs> I'm going to leave this episode here, guys, but if you did enjoy this video of me trying to return Kerbin Kerman safely to the Earth, but alas, Kerbin Kerman, you did not make it due to my foolishness of not putting the parachutes on the actual lander itself, but... This is the this is the thing of early space travel. You're going to make mistakes. It's all about trial and error. And for the actual lunar landers, we'll remember to put a parachute on, maybe. And um, next episode, I'm either going to build a probe or I'm going to build a lander. Depends on how I'm feeling. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to smack that like button because it really does help us out in the future. Also, go ahead and subscribe for more awesome content in the future because uh, we're going through a bit of a channel rebrand at the minute. Um, and I think it's looking pretty good, so give us feedback on that look as well. But guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, adios.